Hi, I'm Clady, an award-winning Italian designer based in Manchester, UK, where I run my design practice, Studio Per My Soul. In this video, you will discover how to create your very own presentation background to keep your audience engaged. One of my clients, a large financial advisory firm in the UK, requested my help to elevate the look of their pitch deck. An eye-catching and straightforward solution was to create a beautiful custom presentation backdrop. Open Illustrator and let me show you how to design your own. To start a new project, click on Create New. The size that we'll be using to create our presentation background is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Those are the standard sizes of a 16 by 9 PowerPoint presentation. Now, name your presentation as you like. I'm going to call it New Background and then click on Create to open the new document. The first tool that we're going to work with is the rectangle tool. Click once on the rectangle shape located in the toolbar and then intersect the mouse cursor with the top left corner of the artboard to create a perfectly overlapping shape. Click once to bring up the rectangle options. Make sure that you use the same side that you use for our artboard and click OK. Now that you have created a rectangle with the same dimension of the artboard, all you have to do is to go to the fill and stroke icons at the bottom of the toolbar. Select the stroke and click on None. Then select the fill or click on X on your keyboard to swap between fill and stroke. Double click on the fill swatch to select the color. I recommend using a color that is part of your brand to keep your visual asset consistent. I'm going to select blue and I'll click OK. To discover more colors that will work well with the one selected, I'm going to head under the window menu to choose Color Guide. You will find many color harmonies generated by Illustrator based on the color that you selected. Pick whichever one you prefer. I suggest monochromatic for a smooth overall look or complement if you wish to introduce contrasting elements. I'm going to go with the right complement since it gives me a nice balance of tints and contrast colors. Once you've selected your harmony of choice, click on the little right icon at the bottom of the panel to save the color group to your swatches panel. If you need to locate the swatches panel, you will find it under Window and Swatches. This will bring up the panel to view. Once you created your swatch panel, select the rectangle and double click on your gradient tool to bring up the gradient panel. We will be using the wonderful free form gradient, which is the third icon on the right inside the gradient panel. This tool alone will allow to make your presentation stand out. Click on the dots that appear inside your shape and select a color. Since we saved the color palette of your choice in our swatches, all we have to do is to double click on each dot to access the swatches directly. Here, you can also control each color's opacity. You can move the dots around the shape, click inside the area to add a new point or click and drag a point outside to remove it. Once you're done, press V on your keyboard to return to your selection tool. If you wish to edit your gradient, you can do so at any time. Simply select the shape and go into the properties and click on Edit Gradient. Now, let's build more support graphics for other presentation elements like the title. Click on the rectangle tool and click and drag on the top part of your artboard to create a new shape. I will select a contrasting color to guide the reader's eye to this top heading. If you want to attract attention to this area, we can also create some more eye-catching elements. To select the ellipse tool, click and hold the shape tool until the list of hidden tools appear and then select the ellipse tool. With the ellipse tool selected, click and drag by holding shift to create a first shape and click on the swatch panel to assign a color of your choice. To create a second ellipse, click on the one you've just created, hold option or alt on windows, drag and release. This will create a copy. You can resize this second ellipse by holding shift to constrain proportions and drag in one of the corners of the shape bounding box. For this shape, we're going to introduce a more exciting feel. Let's access the pattern graphics libraries by clicking on the first icon under the swatches panel and go to libraries. In this case, I will choose patterns, basic graphics, and then textures. This will open a new panel. I'm going to select the third texture. Feel free to choose the most appropriate for your presentation, mood, and topic. We have now created a striking general background on which you can base all your slides. To create more templates, Click on the artboard tool, select the current artboard, and click and drag by holding Option on Mac, Alt on Windows to create a copy. 
In this new artboard, you'll be able to add new areas to enhance part of your text, images, and even build a progression chart by using shades of the same color, as shown in this example. Now you are ready to export these images, so they'll be ready for your presentation. With the shortcut Option Command E on Mac, that's Alt Control E on Windows, you can export the artboard that you desire to a destination folder on your computer and create subfolder to hold multiple images. Click on Export Artboard to confirm. Before finishing, make sure to save your Illustrator file and also save your workspace. Saving your workspace will allow you to work faster and have access to all the required panel needed for each project. It's super simple to do. Organize the panel used in the order and position you prefer, then click on a down pointing arrow on the top menu next to the word Essential, which is the standard workspace in Illustrator, and select a New Workspace. I will name this workspace Presentation and click OK. This workspace will be ready for you to use again and again when you create a new presentation. And if you wish to return to your previous workspace, click on the down pointing arrow to select your workspace of choice. Now it's time for you to try out these techniques in your presentations. Again, I'm Claudia from Prove My Soul, and I look forward to working with you in the next project to elevate your business communication strategy.